Never really had a lot of interest in flying. 1942, we had a military draft. And they said if you enlisted, they would give you your choice of duties. And so I asked for aviation mechanics course. And then I was sent for truck driver mechanics training. I just was totally upset with the Army Air Corps. I went to visit my uncle in Washington, D.C. He just read in the paper where they needed aviation cadets. I signed up and went down and took the test and that put me into the aviation cadet program. I did all my pilot training in California, flying the open cockpit steerman, and sold the day before my 19th birthday. After I finished my pilot training, they sent me to B-24 transition. And that suited me just fine because I never was much of a single-engine aerobatic pilot. I arrived in England in November of 1944. On the 24th of December, 1944, which was Christmas Eve, which was the biggest bombing raid in history, 2,046 B-24s and B-17s, there was over 21,000 airmen over Germany on that one day. We got hit and we lost two engines on one side. We had to drop out of formation, jettison our bombs, and head for friendly territory. We lost another engine, so we crash landed near Mons, Belgium, with no injury to the crew. And then we flew on the third the 6th and the 9th of February to Magneburg, Germany to try to wipe out an oil refinery. There on the 9th, we got hit as we were heading for the target. We lost two engines and then lost a third engine. And since we lost quite a bit of wing on one side, we ended up starting bailout. We knew we were not gonna make it out of Germany. And we ended up POWs till the end of the war. I served 30 and a half years in the Commonwealth of Virginia and worked under eight governor administrations. Had an opportunity to watch aviation grow in Virginia. And I've always been very proud of the way that we were able to help the aviation community in Virginia. General aviation airports are really the backbone of economic development. There's an old saying that we have that corporate executives don't come to town on the bus. They come to town on business jets. Ken Rowe was uh, instrumental in shepherding the Commission on Transportation into the 21st century's work on transportation funding, particularly for aviation. Well, Iles called me and we had a discussion about aviation in Virginia. When he put us in his transportation trust fund, that allowed the funding for aviation in Virginia to be increased tenfold, like overnight. The aviation board approved all of the grants for aviation projects, and I found myself in a very good position to coordinate many activities that we had thought about and planned for many years, but didn't have the money to do. General aviation and airport expansions, runway extensions, and new runways, new airport construction, nav aid installations for general aviation airports so people could get in and out of little airports, weather disseminating equipment at airports. We also started a terminal program where we increased an expansion of terminals at the air carrier airports. The first and only recycling ever of an FAA air traffic control tower from Arapahoe County Airport outside of Denver, Colorado, 
to the Manassas Airport in Northern Virginia. We disassembled it piece by piece, brought it to Manassas, reassembled it, and put it in operation. If you don't have the airport system, not only the asphalt and concrete, but also the electronics, the navigational aids, then your state is not going to thrive as a center for economic development. I was very pleased to have the opportunity to see so many of these projects come into reality. I've enjoyed every minute that I've been here and knowing the people in the aviation community and have been the beneficiary of many kind courtesies by everyone throughout the Commonwealth of Virginia.